Hi curl friends. So I know I've been gone for a little while and I just want to apologize but I'm back and so happy to be back. Today my tutorial is going to be on henna. Now I know some of my naturalistas out there are big henna fans. I'm actually a really big henna fan. Um, I used to do henna a lot when I was processed, meaning when well, my process was heat. Um, I used to blow dry and flat iron like every week, faithfully. Um, and I would henna then, and it did help my hair then, but since I've been natural, by the way, I just celebrated two years, <laughs> two years heat free, woo! <laughs> So during my two year process of being heat free, I think I only hinted maybe three times. Not because I wasn't interested in doing it, um, I just was experimenting with a lot of different things trying to figure out what Curly over here liked. And she's really picky and so I didn't want to do too much and henna can sometimes be really drying even though I do vigorously deep condition and moisturize after I do it, it can just be a lot. I've also been doing a lot of research on henna and finding out different things to mix it with. So this is going to be my first henna process of 2015. Um, my first henna process in maybe seven months and the first henna process trying it with coconut milk because I've been seeing a lot of that and I've heard about the great conditioning effects that that has. Um, you can see my hair is black. I like to keep it black. So my henna process is a two-step process. I do henna first and then I do indigo. Indigo keeps it black. My henna and indigo mix are pretty much always going to be the same. I like to keep the consistency the same. I'm going to show you how to mix it and what I use to mix mine with. I'm going to show you how to apply it. I'll show you, I guess, the results following in pictures maybe. I'm not really sure, but we're going we're to work it out. So my hair is extremely dirty. Um, it, it's going on like two weeks of not washing it. Like I've been co-washing it. But for the most part, it's just been spritzing it with water, detangling it, and doing twist outs. And so this is about a week old twist out filled with product and coconut oil. Yeah, first step to the henna process is get the mane, your palette, nice and clean. So I'm going to do um, just a regular wash. I don't think I'm going to clarify it, only because that's just too much drying, I guess. Like if I do ACV, it's going to really dry it out and then the henna is drying in and of itself and so I think I kind of just want to tackle one thing at a time. So, but I'm just going to wash it, apply the henna, I'm going to do the henna overnight, which I've never done before. So I'm pretty excited about what the results are going to be like. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. So I'm all washed. So I forgot to mention a couple of things that you're going to need. You're definitely going to need a towel or newspaper to line the floor with. If you're a novice at this, I suggest that you line the floor because henna is staining. Some gloves. Um, these have been used a few times. Handy dandy rat tail comb. Some clippies. A color applicator brush. with a plastic cappy for after you're done. And I happen to have a plastic cape to keep the henna off your back and shoulders. That's it, so we're about to get started. So, here is my henna mix. So this is what you're looking at here. It's very um, batter-like consistency or pancake mix. Make sure you mix it in a plastic bowl that you don't plan on using for anything else other than henna because it stains and it doesn't look very nice if you're putting food in there. I'm gonna start <laughs> by um, putting my cape on. Catch any loose henna that might fly out. Alright, I'm gonna go sans voice because um, I get tongue tied. So I'm just gonna do it. Enjoy. Start by sectioning clean, detangled, unconditioned hair. I section mine into four parts, making it easier to manage. Next, apply gloves. I double up in case they rip or tear. Using your color applicator brush, start applying henna one section at a time. Wow. 
Try not to get any henna on your skin or clothing. Keep a towel or paper towels handy to clean up any messes or spills. Make smaller parts within each section to ensure each strand is equally covered. After you've applied henna to each of the four sections, using your tail comb, gently comb through to saturate each strand. Start from ends to roots. Be sure to handle with care. Next, you'll want to wrap your hair. I say wrap and not bun because it's ideal for sleeping. And here's what it looks like all wrapped up. Using plastic or saran wrap, wrap your hair. I wrap twice to ensure no leakage. Follow up with the plastic cap. Make sure you clean henna off your skin. After that, apply a scarf. Clearly this scarf has seen this process before. Be sure to secure your scarf and plastic cap at the nape of your neck so that henna does not get on your pillows. I secure my scarf in place with a sweatband. And finally, I add a bonnet, which I find ideal for sleeping. And that's it, curlies. If you have any excess henna, do not throw it away. Tune in to part two, where I'll show you how to store your leftover henna for another use. Also, I'll show you how to mix the henna and indigo, and I'll also show you how to apply the indigo. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace, love, and hair.